And this is the problem when we are fr frankly cheated out of resources and it is pure racism how we are treated by corporate America and these agencies for decades and there's no doubt about it. We've proven it time and time again, the numbers that we are, that you've already shown people today just shows how we've proven that we are successful, that we're needed, that, that people want us, that they should advertise with us, but they're not giving us the money. And the only answer can be that it's racism. Um, I think the comment that came in on YouTube that said that that was the worst mistake that uh, Johnson made when he sold it really lends into this attitude that when black people are in business or that black media is somehow a social justice experiment only or it's charity. Black people want to make money as well. We are business people. We need economic growth in order to survive and thrive. And so that attitude really doesn't push us forward. Anyone who was building something as major as BET do, did, was, deserves to be paid fairly, as these other organizations are, but we're not. And that continues, it, it has long-term effects on us as a people when we're not paid fairly. I've given speeches where I've said to people, um, I'm not doing a meeting with the DEI person. Right. Because the DEI person and the foundation person, I guarantee you, when Discovery, Warner Brothers, or Disney, or Comcast, when they are negotiating the upfronts, they are not meeting with the DEI person or the foundation person. They're meeting with the CMO. But they literally bring in, I mean, we've been in meetings where they'll introduce, and I'm like, why, why am I talking to the person running your company foundation? I ain't here for a grant. As a former DEI executive, what I was going to say is I would have had no business in that meeting, the type of meetings that he is discussing, because that's business. And this was my point. Companies see us as social justice, as something that they're doing as a favor to us, instead of charity. Respect, as charity, instead of respecting us as businesses, as saying we, this is a business move that we need to do. We need to reach black audiences. We need to reach that $1.6 trillion that we spend per year. They, but they don't see it as that. They say, oh, this is us. We have this great corporation, and let us peel off a little bit as charity for these black organizations. But but the same black consumers driving their market share. Absolutely driving their market share. They uh, need us. Before I do that, uh, Randy, you wanted to uh, say something, because uh, you, as a DEI expert, you're listening to the language in these statements. Right. I mean, just the language that is used saying responsibility. We have a responsibility to do this work. It's not a responsibility. It's a business decision. If black consumers are spending the money we are, $1.6 trillion per year, it makes sense that advertisers would advertise with black media. And really the question should be, why does it have to be this big conversation, this big push, these initiatives? Why are they talking about what they're going to do after George Floyd was murdered? Right? As if, again, it's a social justice issue and not an issue of business. The tokenized Negro is an absolute problem. I mean, the person that they hire, that they can get just to say, look, we have a black person here. We, we, had, we had one sister who tried to jam up me and Todd, and we said, fool, we the reason you got hired. <laughs> agency was nearly all white. We put them on blast. She gets hired and she's trying to tell, we like, how you think you got here? <laughs> Go ahead. Right. They, they make us so desperate that you have certain people who will sell out their own people, who will sell out us get, getting an opportunity to make any progress just so they can pay their mortgage in a nice neighborhood and send the kids to private schools. And don't get me wrong, of course we all want nice luxuries. We all want these things. But it does come at a price that I don't think that we realize. Well, you know, advertising agencies control image. That's what they are hired to do, is to control a brand's image. And what I don't think people are talking about is that what advertising agencies are saying is, we don't like what black media is saying 
about black people, which is absolutely ridiculous. They feel as if they should control the image of black people. And we need to reject that and say, you know what, I don't see myself reflected at all within this brand. And so, yes, we are going to leave it alone. We're not going to support it any further. And it's not just about who we don't support, but it also is about who we do support. Right. Um, and we, we need to provide people like Roland Martin to, and other news media with the numbers to say, listen, you are losing as they are. You are losing black followers every single day because you are not at all reflecting who we are. Because guess what? This ad agency has ignored who we are. They've ignored black people. They've ignored they, they're trying to speak for us. And we need to let to stop that. It should be our voices. We should control our voice and our image and not them.